Well, I'm going to change our parameters a little bit. Since we're trying to make it a ways down here to Amarillo, instead of looking for the highest dollar, I'm going to look for ones that route us towards our destination. So flour, 18 tons, we can take this job. Doesn't pay super well, 6,800. But it's going to be a nice, easy run for us. It should be. And it's going to get us towards our destination. So that's what I'm going to roll with. We're going to get over to wherever this may be picking up from. It's about 60 miles. It's about 60 miles. And uh, I guess we'll pick up there. Oh, boy. Are we sure we don't want to just buy one close to home and not expand our territory? That might be nice. That might be. That might still be useful. I, hold on. Let me think about this. <laughs> Let me think about this a little bit. Hold on. Hold on now. Maybe, maybe we drive ourselves to Selena and just buy one there. And, you know, we have a little, a little big time headquarters here in Kansas. Okay, let me think. So 249 miles is what we could have done for $6,800. But we still would have had a long ways to go. Or we can do 195 miles for 9000 Okay, and this gets us to Selena. We can buy one there. Let's do that. I changed my mind. We're going to this other job. And it is 58. Oh, God, I was really hoping it would be closer. <laughs> we didn't gain much there, did we? Let's hope we can get there in time. Oh, man. I really would hate. I didn't pay attention. If we show up and it's not available, that's going to really suck. These guys got to hurry up and let me out of, out of security here. I ain't got a trailer, boys. It's very obvious I'm not stealing from you. Let me go get my next thing. Come on. Come on. You ain't got it. Come on, really? Thank you. I got to go pick up this next load. And by the time we... Or once we get there, we will buy another garage and get it stocked full of trucks. That was a very long light. Oh, oh. We got the bypass. Well, good, because I am i don't even have a trailer. Of course I got the bypass. <laughs> you want to talk to me without a trailer? Then I got a problem. I'm going to sneak around you, Mr. Semi, just because I'm faster than you. Appreciate it, Mr. Doubles. Oh, he's got to go in there and talk to the fellas at the way station. Sorry, sir. It was nice knowing you, though. We got to do a double loop-de-loop. -loop. Oh, boy. This is going to be a fun one, boys. This is a good time. This is one of the, the, the seven wonders of the world right here. This is one of the simple pleasures of life. When you get to go through the loop-de-loop -loop twice, here we go. <laughs> there you go. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. It's, it's a crazy time. And then you stay here. Easiest time you've ever had. You're like, a breeze. Not worried about a thing. Look at me. I'm going to do another turn this away. Sometimes it makes a fella want to just ride these for a few hours. You know, just kind of go. Wee. <laughs> yep. See? Nice and easy. Now that here comes the hard part. Oh, gosh. We got to speed over to the left. If we had a trailer, we'd be fine because there was really nobody coming. Nothing too crazy. I got another green light. Woo. There are so many way stations around here. And we picked this as our headquarters? Man, what a bad spot to be. Way stations all around these parts. What's wrong with you, Kansas? Homestead Lane? Hey, we've been here before. Hold on, wait a minute. Oh yeah, did we just come from here, actually? Wait a minute, hold on. Is this another one? I, I'm confused. I've been here before, though, because last time remember I came over and I said, sorry, but I needed to take this left-hand turn lane up here anyways, and then I realized it was here in the double if we could do it both ways. Yeah, yeah, this happened very recently. We've been here very, very recently. Guess we're back. <laughs> hey, we finally got a green light. It's like the worst thing, sitting at virtual red lights. They're so long. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, man. We got another one. Please turn right. Can I sneak behind you? Would it be illegal? Yeah. But could I do it? Mm. <laughs> this is sketchy. <laughs> I got places to be, sir. <laughs> hey, this looks very, very familiar. But at least I know the drill here, eh? I got to pull up, press the little button on the machine, wait for it to confirm my trailer pickup number. Let's see. Is he going to say it? Come on. Yeah? I'm supposed to be here, right? Oh, good. We're good. Now I just got to pull up there. We'll pull on in, talk to the uh, shipping and receiving now that they know we're here with the security check-in. We'll get our documents, make sure everything's sealed up, ready to go, and get loaded up on and down the road here. To be honest with you, I don't even remember what we're hauling. I think it was a garbage truck now that I think about it here. Oh, man, we got here too late, and the load was uh, taken right out from underneath us. It was a garbage truck. But we didn't get here in time. I, had, I was worried about that. I had a feeling because I didn't pay attention to when it was going to disappear. But it's okay. 
we uh, ended up taking this frack tank here. It was one of two options to Selena. This one paid seven some thousand dollars. The other one four thousand dollars. It was an Amazon Prime trailer right there, that blue curtain trailer. And uh, I simply made the decision because this one was slightly less mileage, and it paid more. So that's the end of that. I'm gonna back up to it. We're gonna get on down the road. That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> I gotta remember to put on my little fishy flashies when I'm doing my backing up here. I'm gonna be off. I'll try it. I'll try it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nope. It's gonna be off. Sneak up here. There. Now we're, we, that's gotta be, that's gotta be almost money. That is almost money right there. Come on, dude. Go, oh, yeah. Come on. If you're having trouble attaching, lower the suspension. No, no, no. We got it. We got it. I know I can do that, but... We nailed it. And just like that, the frack tank is all loaded up. We are ready to roll. Everything should be connected. Good to go. 167 miles ahead of us here. So let's get pulled out of this rail yard and get on down the road. Now, I don't know where exactly we're headed. Let's take a gander. So this thing weighs about three tons. At least that's what they say. It's going to be about $7,900 in our pocket. They don't need it until Tuesday at about 6 p.m. It is Tuesday, 8 a.m. now, so... We need to get it there today. We've got nine hours until they need it there, 10 hours on our drive time, and three hours until we're there. What that means is we're gonna have plenty of time to spare to be able to get that uh, garage purchased by talking to the bank for the loan and everything like that. And we're gonna have enough time to be able to get back out on the road here today and earn ourselves a little bit more money. So it's gonna be a good day for us a little bit expensive but also a little bit profitable let's get out of security get down the road this morning and see how the end of the day looks we're at seventy thousand dollars right now and i'm really curious to see how the day goes for my other drivers today oh we got a green right on out of here heck yeah son otherwise i would have waited for 25 years out here at this place man Green light never hurt nobody. No sir, Bob. We're going to sneak on over to the Selena area. That guy's going to keep brushing away at that parking spot. Don't know what he messed up, but poor sucker is brushing a parking spot. <laughs> curbed it. Maybe he curbed it. That was the punishment, eh? Suppose I'm next. Sir, please. Okay, thank you. Oh, my car almost didn't want to let us over, and that would have sucked. But we're south on the 35. 150 miles to go. I didn't realize we got to be getting off of this at some point, because we're... We're headed a little bit south, maybe, yeah, we are, but aren't we headed more west than anything? We'll see how it goes. Sometimes it's a really, really fun experience just being able to go down the interstate for a little while, open it up, go 74, 75 miles an hour in your truck. You got people passing you on the left, people, you know, merging on the right, the street signs coming up. It's just... It's neat. It's kind of like a little road trip simulator. Now that Mustang popped over, I'm trying to be a little bit more careful here. I need to keep my stopping distance in case he hits the brakes. But they got gas up here at the exit. If we need it, we're at half a tank. Not really too thirsty for it right now, so I think I'll be okay. But the price is about 4.33. I saw. I like paying that 3.45. What was that? Where were we at? Oklahoma, maybe? I know that we could have expanded more territory if we went to Amarillo and and built there, but. I like the idea of solidifying a stronger base right here at, around our headquarters because it's going to be easier for us to work between these two places when they're closer together. It's going to be easier for us to provide aid and swap equipment or drivers or whatever we need to do between these two locations because they're closer together, right? Additionally, there's a lot of loads in this local area that, you know, the amount of trucks we're running right now, we're not even picking up, you know, a percentage of of the loads. Maybe we're picking up like 5%, maybe. So there's a lot of room for us to get more in this area. So I'm not really too worried about it. I think we'll get a nice strong base here, right in our uh, kind of home state or home area. And then we'll kind of expand out to get more of a regional coverage. We'll see how things go from there. It all depends on if we're able to continue making our loan payments as we uh, make these advancements here. I'm gonna use our engine brake just to help myself slow down here. We actually, we, that engine brake is too much. That engine brake was too much. Did y'all hear that skin in the brakes? <laughs> Oops. That's how you know you overdid it just a little bit. All right, spinning ourselves through this weird little, I mean, they just, they didn't want an intersection. 
You know, they were like, I want a bunch of lanes that go off all different directions. Now I'm gonna stick over here to the right because this is a slip lane that goes around that, but that whole mess. And I don't think anybody was in there. I didn't see, maybe one. But it looks clear if we need to get over. I'm not exactly sure yet. We've got 45 mile an hour speed limit, 83 miles to go here. So we're still got a ways. Looks like we're gonna maybe be on this road for a bit. We are about below half a tank here if we do want to fill up. That's not a bad idea. I don't have to. I really don't have to, but it wouldn't hurt for us to go ahead and get some fuel in this truck. So I think we're going to pull on in here. We're going to fuel up real quick and then we're going to continue on down the road. We'll just pull right on into three and four here right between. I don't know. I guess it's technically three. And let's see. We got them cheap hot dogs. No, we've got boxes of cola. Ooh, oh, three flavors. That sounds kind of yummy. Y'all want one? I'll get one. Put your order down below. <laughs> $281 is what we spent. 64 gallons, almost 65. So it wasn't too bad. We didn't need to fill up, but now we're good. And, you know, we got a little snack. Doesn't hurt. Helps the day go along a little bit smoother, you know? You don't want to get hangry while you're driving your semi down the road. I'm going to try to make this turn here. I didn't see anybody else in the pump, so we should be fine. We could maybe sneak over to the truck wash, eh? I wonder what they cost. More than I want to spend, I'll tell you that. Okay, exit and entry. Okay, good. I was worried I was going out an entrance, but I was going to do it anyways. Clear left after this fella, and they're going to have a car there, but I think... I'm gonna be able to make it. Come on, dude. Yeah, 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 okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. We're gonna be able to get in our lane. He's in that one over there. We're fine. That all worked. No problem. Good thing traffic was working with us there. Not too busy. 10.30 in the morning on a Tuesday, apparently. Through this part, ain't too bad. We got a blinking yellows up here on this intersection, so let's pay attention. Nobody's driving through. That guy's going to merge over to our side. Everybody's happy, happy. Looks like we're going to be sticking back out to the uh, fields here. I like driving through rural Kansas. I like driving through the these rural states. I really look forward for uh, Missouri when they get Missouri out here soon. Whenever that releases, I have no idea. I think Arkansas is probably first. But either way, very excited for both of those states. They continue to just get better and better and better with every state that they do. So I'm really excited. I'm glad that they have been improving a lot. At first, when the game first released, I remember thinking back, you know, like, oh man, only like two states, three states, that sucks. It's gonna take forever to get states. Well, now we're getting close to my home state and I'm almost like, hmm, yeah, it sucked that it took this long, but I'm kind of thankful because now they're actually really good. Not that they weren't good before, but they're just, they do a really good job with them now. So it makes me excited to see what they're gonna come out with when they do get to Iowa, but all in good time. I have no idea if that's gonna be a year, two, three, four, five. I have no idea. We'll see. You know, just driving down this road, there was a number of places that kind of had some old antiques and some stuff sitting out and about. And it made me think this game would be really fun to do an American Pickers thing in. We gotta slow down. We gotta slow down. We gotta slow down. Why are we all the way stopping? Is it because of that tractor there? So remember how I said I wish there was tractor in the roads? Um, there's tractors in the road. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Don't get hit. Get over. My goodness. What a time. Ain't it, Mr. Bus Driver? Well, I'll tell you this. We almost had pancakes, and I didn't order any. That's all I'm going to say about that. We got 42 miles until we're at our destination. And let's not hit the guy in front of me because he does something stupid, eh? Like, like pull out in front of a bus in oncoming traffic. <laughs> Exit 58. McPherson is going to be where we're headed here. We're somewhere near at least. Where we're getting off. We'll try and get this thing to slow down. we got to stop and do a left-hand turn across this bridge. Looks like, is that a town up over there? I can't quite tell yet. It says there's one that way. Look at all that. That is cool. Looking down, the crops are looking good out there. Makes me feel like I'm playing Farming Simulator looking at all that, man. Could you imagine if these two games got combined? <laughs> Trucking and farming? Oh man, it'd be my dream game. 
do a collab. SES and Giant Software made a collaborative game together. That'd be amazing. <laughs> and I mean no disrespect to Giant Software, but I, if that was to happen, I, I think I would actually like it to be done in this graphics engine, because this game does look really good. Could you imagine Farm Sim in this engine? Oh, that'd be kind of fun to see. We're making our right-hand turn into this place. I assume this is some kind of refinery. I don't exactly know. I mean, with what we're hauling, more than likely that's what's going to be up here. But McPherson is just ahead there in a couple miles. We're not heading quite into town. The plant's just outside of town here, so let's pull on in, talk to security, figure out where they want this trailer, and, you know, do the usual. Fellas, I need you to open your gate if you want me to pull on in here. I mean, you know, it's kind of like a basic necessity, but I do appreciate you. Okay. So they want it right there, but I gotta turn my butt on around. So let's spin ourselves around here. Four ways turning on. And he's gonna watch us so we don't hit this wall or that pillar back there. Now I'm just gonna turn myself right up with it. Pull over more. Get the trailer more in line with it. Try and straighten that trailer out now. Right about there. Let's see if we can walk that back now. We might just be able to. I'm going to let it favor day side, driver's side here a little bit because we're we pulled in a little closer to the building than I originally wanted. We're not that bad though, but I'm going to favor this driver's side just to be safe. Try to get pulled over there and we'll swing the front right back around if we can here at the last second. There we go, just like that. And that's gotta be close, man. Gotta be close. Gotta be close. Come on. Come on. Not gonna take it? Alright, I gotta pull forward. Just don't feel comfortable going back any farther. We gotta shimmy this over just a slight bit here. So we're in line. Gonna straighten the trailer out if we can. Right there. Then we just try and walk it back. That should be better. We're gonna take it this time, I believe. Oh yeah, that's pretty. There is no way they don't say yes to this. That is absolutely perfect in every way. Yep, they took it. So we're gonna get that dropped off and get our paycheck. Okay, we made $7,900, but that's not why we came over here. We came to Selena to buy this garage. So I wanna drive up here, take a look at it, find out how much it might cost, and then we're gonna go talk to the bank. 78,000 is what we have for cash, so we can make a down payment if we need. We'll see what we can do here. For now, let's go take a look at that place and uh, we'll call the bank on the way and let them know what we're doing. I really love this intersection. That is just beautiful down there. Honestly, perfectly made. Wow, that is so cool. That's a spot for some pictures, man. There she is, ladies and gentlemen, good old. Selena, Kansas right here off of exit 89. We've got some hotels. I think I saw some gas stations, some fast food. What do we Oh yeah, all kinds of stuff down here to the right. That's a nice warehouse or whatever's going on right there. Oh, it's a Walmart. I see they got a nice little dock right there. So to get to this garage, we go right. You're driving through this little part past your Walmart and all this area, okay gonna hang a right again on this main street what's this gonna be what's it? it's a big one they've got some nice places they got that prime rib place here and we haven't eaten that yet this is a really nice area though i wonder if this uh is this how the other place is like with the with the i don't know <laughs> i didn't expect uh, the area to be this this well kept up for where we were looking at for our trucking company here you know, within our budget, at least, is what I'm trying to say. But I'm excited. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what we might have here. Looks like it's going to be on the outskirts of town, just barely. I'm going to try and let those people get over in front of me if they want to. Go ahead. 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 Yeah. 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 I know they're all thinking, man, that semi was so slow. Mm, I knew you'd be impatient, so I went slow. You're welcome. All right. Right next to Drake Car Dealer. 
There's a combine looking place right here. I don't know, maybe they do uh, farm equipment. That'd be nice. We could haul a lot of farm equipment. What's, what else is down here? We got some factory down here. Okay, it's not bad. So it is a little bit more of a factory area, but that's what I wanted. That's what makes sense for what we do. This is not a bad headquarters either. It's actually got a concrete lot and everything. It's very similar to our current one. A little smaller. It's got three bays on it. So we can put three trucks over here. Ooh, this is nice. No fuel spot, but three trucks can get over here. I wonder if fuel's around back, maybe. $180,000. Can't afford to buy it right now. But let's go talk to the bank and we'll see if we can. Well, we're now paying $10,000 in loan installments. So business is expensive. And we've nearly depleted our borrowing power. But we have 250 some thousand dollars. Should be enough to buy this place. It actually still says I can't. Let me pull back into this trigger. Hold on. So now we have 250,000. Let's see. Can we buy this place, Mr. Realtor? Yes, we can. Let's do it. New headquarters. Selena, not headquarters, but new terminal. So we've picked this one up. It's going to be giving us three new bays for three new trucks, three new drivers. Now I'm looking at the back side here, trying to see no fuel back there, but that's okay. Maybe eventually we can upgrade it and get some. But I tell you what, we got $70,000 still. Let's look at some used trucks, shall we? This truck, three star, 25% damage, not bad. 370 horsepower, a little low, but not terrible. Actually, all of those are 370. This one is 423000 That's not a terrible price. Um, I think I do want to go ahead and buy this Volvo. It's 400 horsepower. It's $23,000. It's 19% damage. I mean, it's it's a decent looking truck. So we're going to put that in Selena right there. We've got 48000 more to work with. So now we're going to buy these cheaper trucks. Sorry to whoever drives them. But they're still nice. 25%, 26%, 23%. So I think we're actually going to go with the 23% damage here. There's a Kenworth T680 from 2014. So we'll go ahead and put that over there. I haven't driven that Kenworth yet. And now we'll pick another one. We could do Peterbilts for 11, which are 26 and 26%. Or we could do the Kenworth for 25, and that's nine grand. We're going to do the Kenworth. So we'll have a couple Kennys over there in our neighboring garage. We've got three new trucks. All we need to do now is put some drivers in them. Paul's looking for a job. He's a rookie, not very well trained, but we're going to put him in one of our trucks, probably one of the cheaper Kenworths that we've got. John, not super polished, but one of the more polished ones that we've seen. So we'll put him in the Volvo since he knows what he's doing a little bit more. And I don't know how to say her name, but again, she's a rookie. We're going to put her in one of the cheaper Canworths to start. So now we've got them all staffed. We're down to $24,000. We've got a lot loaned out. And we're spending $10,000 like every single day. Um, so things are going well on our way to a million. That's for sure.